family, Marshawn Olanio here. Thank you so much for coming to my channel and just checking me out once again. I am your favorite life and relationship strategist and I help Christian women that are married or in long-term relationships to stop feeling disconnected and unloved and shift you to feeling her understood and appreciated because my mission, especially if you've been following me for any amount of time, you know this, but if you are new and finding me for the very first time, my mission here at Marshawn O is to decrease the divorce rate while simultaneously increasing the marriage rate one coaching conversation at a time so if you know that you need some help if you are ready and you have to be ready if you're not ready do not sign up but if you are ready to take your relationship with yourself excuse me and or your spouse to the next level then definitely sign up for, for my free 30 minute coaching conversation so I can help get you on the right path from where you're at currently to where you want to be over here which is a beautiful successful loving relationship with yourself first as well as moving into the relationship with your loved one your partner your spouse whomever that may be now with that being said I totally 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 want to talk about the four keys to a successful relationship and many people get into relationships right and we don't have a clue what we're doing. We just know that we want to be a part of a successful relationship. We know that we want to be a part of a relationship. We know that we want to have a healthy relationship, but we don't necessarily know what steps, what strategies, what tools to actually implement in there. And, or if you do know what the tools are, you're not using them for fear of something. Right. So I want to jump in and make sure that you understand that literally there are four things that you need to implement in every successful relationship and or marriage have these four keys. And if they don't have them all right now, then they are working toward it. And again, this is where you become a part of the top 1% of couples that have extraordinary relationships by implementing all four of these areas. So the very first one is literally something that we talk about a whole lot, which is communication. Like you will never be able to get away from having a successful relationship or a successful marriage without communicating with your spouse, communicating about the things that you like, communicating about the things that you dislike, communicating about the things that you love, communicating about the things that you even hate, communicating about your fears, communicating about your hurts, communicating about those pains, communicating about your past, communicating about the baggage. See, you get the point. It's all about communication. But the one thing that I really want to point out about communication here is that most people don't understand that communication literally is having one conversation at a time, which is a part of my mission. Having conversations so you can get a better understanding so you do not feel judged in your relationship or in your marriage so your partner, so your spouse can learn who you are and guess what? Vice versa. You can also learn who your spouse is, who you are sitting across the table from or who you are lying next to, who you are giving your body to, who you are opening up your world with, who you are building and creating your relationship with. And so communication is literally talking about each and everything and maybe not everything, especially in the moment, but you want to have a multitude of conversations to open up the door so you can be heard, so you can be understood, so you can be non-judged, so you can be seen as somebody that actually has some sense versus your spouse does not understand why you are showing up, why you're doing certain things, why you're reacting certain ways. They're looking at it like this is crazy. And it's because you have yet to really shed that shell, shed that armor that you are holding on to and allowing them to come in and see you for who you truly are. So communication is point number one for sure. And you, you will never, anybody in any type of relationship, you will never be able to get away from communication. But I know a lot of people say communication, but they don't really tell you the how, the how. So the how is literally one conversation at a time.
It's talking about the easy stuff. It's also talking about the difficult stuff. And as I mentioned before, the difficult conversations, we must have the difficult conversations. We must have the conversations that are going to expose us, that are going to show our vulnerability. Because when you don't do that, literally exposing yourself and showing your vulnerability is where the connection comes into play. All of that surface level stuff is fun, it's cute, but when you're trying to build upon, when you're trying to get a better understanding of surface level talk is boring and it will never get you to the bliss that you seek. It'll never get you to that space where you're like, oh my God, this is the most beautiful relationship out there. You'll never get there staying surface level. Never, ever, ever. So point number two, literally, is friendship. Dr. John Gottman of the Gottman Institute has been working with couples for several decades now. I think it's uh, three decades, 30 years plus. And what he found is, and this is a side bit of information, but it plays a part into building a successful relationship. And I'm speaking about sex because what he actually found in his research that people, couples that have a beautiful, happy, healthy sex life are really, really good friends with their spouse. They're laughing They're still playing. They're still joking. They're still creating experiences where there is a lot of fun within the relationship. They're not holding back, right? They are there for one another when the chips are down or whether they're high. It's all about literally their friendship, their friendship. And so the better friend that you're showing up and being, the better friend that your spouse is showing up and being towards you, the happier you are with the person that you chose, the happier you are in your relationship, the happier you are overall in life. Because most people try to separate life from their romantic relationship. We try to compartmentalize these things, not realizing that everything is in a big old pot. It's in a big old melting pot, brewing together, creating the food, the mixture, right? So you're trying to compartmentalize your life and that is good in business, but in your life, your overall life, think about it this way. Whenever your relationships are going down here, and this is relationships in general, whether it's, you know, of course you're romantic, but it could be your sibling relationship. It could be your parental relationship. It could be your um, relationship with your child or children. And when things aren't right, life is just not right, right? You go to work, you make mistakes that you wouldn't normally make. You're frustrated. You're annoyed. You might snap off and pop off on somebody. I'm a lot faster. And it's because relationships are everywhere. They're everywhere. Most people think that you can try to separate the two and you cannot. Your life and your relationship go hand in hand. I digress. Your friendship within your romantic relationship is going to determine if you guys have a very successful relationship. And again, with the research is also going to determine how much sex you guys will have. Now, there are other things that come into play because, you know, the sex could be going and it might not be happening. It's other things like children or illnesses and um, like maybe taking some medication. It's a lot of other things that kind of go into play. But by and large, if you are not dealing with any of those things and um, you have you once had a healthy sex life with your spouse, Check on how your friendship is with your partner. Check on your friendship. Those who have successful relationships that are in the top 1% have a great friendship with their spouse. Number three, successful people, meaning successful relationships, successful couples, continuously date one another. Now, I know we in COVID and it might be a little bit harder, but literally your date night could be watching a movie. Your date night could be having a romantic dinner across the table. Your date night could be playing with puzzles or putting things together, games, etc. 
your date night doesn't have to always be going out and spending money. Now, is that good? Cool. It's cool. But it, the connection is what you're building. The connection. This is when you get to see and hear what's actually happening up here. What's plaguing your spouse? What's keeping them up at night? What's keeping you up at night? This is when you're able to share what's going on with you. This is how you guys continuously get to know one another is the dating of each other is the allowing space for one another to be open without judgment and just putting yourself out there and say, Hey, this is what I'm dealing with. I know I'm usually strong, but guess what? Right now I'm weak. I need your help or just venting about what it is that you need to speak about. Get these things off of your chest. So again, your spouse can understand you can understand why you've been so stressed out, can understand why you haven't been able to get as much sleep as you have been, able to understand why you've been so snappy, right? These are the moments where you are building and creating the relationship that you want by being very intentional, incorporating fun in there. However, when, when there are um, serious moments that you guys need to address, you can address them then. Not necessarily on your date night, but you want to put all these things, all these pieces of the puzzle together so you two can have a very successful relationship and you can become a part of the top 1% of couples that have extraordinary relationships where other people, other couples can come to you and ask you, how are you doing this? How are you guys always so happy? And you can share these keys with them. You're communicating. You got a great friendship. Your dating life is continuous. This is where all of the connection comes from. And point number four is literally to take responsibility for who you are. Take responsibility for how you're showing up or not showing up. Taking responsibility for the things that you are doing or not doing. And this one was very important for me to include because working with clients one-on-one and working with um, couples sometimes and also working with a few select, important, very grateful men I'm finding that a lot of times the spouse is not taking responsibility. Sometimes it's you, right? But it's usually you're frustrated and annoyed because your spouse is not taking responsibility for how he or she is showing up. The things that they're doing, the things that they're saying, the respect level, the love level, the commitment, the the um, not showing the love, uh, uh, the way that they need to receive it, and, and ev all of those things. And so whenever your spouse comes to you, and mentions this thing. So say for instance, they have been asking for more quality time and you always have an excuse on why there is no time left in your day. You don't have no energy to give the 20, 30 minutes, five, uh, excuse me, hour quality time that your spouse is requiring. And instead of you saying, you know what, this is me. I need to put this on my schedule. I need to make this a non-negotiable. I'm going to be better. Matter of fact, I'm going to do better we are going to get this thing under control. Instead, you're not taking responsibility. Instead, it's always somebody else's fault why you cannot um, answer and keep your promises. So you have to take responsibility for yourself. You have to take responsibility for your actions. And both of you have to take responsibility for the things that you're doing, not doing, saying, not saying, right? Everything together is how you guys create successful relationship. So these are the four keys. Now, guess what, ladies and gentlemen, if you know that you are ready, if you're ready to change everything around, sign up for your free 30 minute coaching conversation so I can help put you on the road to where you from, from where you are currently to where you want to be with yourself first, and then within your relationship, the link to schedule your appointment is down in the comment section. Excuse me, not the comment section. It's down in the description box. Go ahead and sign up for your free 30-minute call. I would love to have you. I would love to help you. Because as I mentioned, I'm Marshawn Olanio. And my mission is to decrease the divorce rate while simultaneously increasing the marriage rate one coaching conversation at a time. So if you are ready to take action go ahead and sign up.
I would love to help you out. I love you guys. There is nothing that you can do about it. And share this with somebody that you know needs the help, know that needs the support, but then also someone that you know is ready to take the step to turn it all around. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye now.